Hey, what's up? This is John Abernathy. I'm going to show you guys the leads to the song Into the Rabbit Hole from our 2013 self-titled album. Alright, the first lead in the song is this cool little three-finger tapping thing that I cooked up. Uh, the first time I ever started messing with any like three finger tapping on the fretboard was uh, when we were on tour with Niall when I was in with Passion. We were backstage at the Masquerade in Atlanta and uh, Joe Payne, the bass player for Niall, was sitting down with uh, Tosin Abasi. He had came out because he was going to like the Music Institute out there. And Tosin and him were, uh, they were kind of trading licks back and forth and I was sitting there. We were kind of all just going over stuff and I picked up a lot of uh, cool tapping things. Like I never really applied like multiple fingers on the fretboard, you know, on my right hand until I saw Tosin doing it and kind of Joe was doing it too. They had a bunch of little licks that they had, they had cooked up. I was like, man, that's fucking awesome. So like the first time I did it was on the With Passion album. Actually, there's a What We See When We Shut Our Eyes where it's like, uh, it's like, where was it? There it is. Actually, I think I gotta aim the camera down. So it was like. Anyways, that's a lesson for another day. I'm going to show you guys the, the, uh, the thing from Into the Rabbit Hole. Alright, so with that one, I'm going to start barring the 10th uh, fret here, and then the position with the left hand is like, so it's barring the 10th, and it's uh, your pinky's going to be on the 13th of the E, and you got the 11th of the B, and then pretty much so on and so forth. Right hand tapping, so what's that, 17, 15, 14? And then it kind of goes in between uh, with your middle finger. It's going to go in between the uh, 15th and 14th fret. So it's like, well, that's when it gets to the faster part. But, you know, for the beginning, first half of it, it goes. So I'll try to really, really slow it down. It's like. It holds that there. And then it's. Oops, sorry. You have to bear with me. This is the first time I've ever tried to play this this slow, so it's <laughs> sorry. So it's there it is. So it's slide eleven to thirteen with your middle finger. It's sorry. So let me try that again, just slow. Let's see if I can actually do it. There we go. Yeah, then here where it picks up, then you're going. Let me try it even slower. I know that was still probably a little bit fast to pick up on, so. Ends on a little whole tone run up. Whole tone meaning it's just everything's a half a step apart. Starting on the ninth, so then it's 10, 12, 14, and then you end on 15, or I'm sorry, 17.
right, let's break down the guitar solo now. So it starts out with this uh, F major 7th arpeggio suite. So you got your root on the 15th fret there, then you got your major 3rd on the 14th, then 13th fret, 5th, then you got your 7th on the 12th. So. And it just goes up it, and then it goes up a few degrees of the scale, and then kind of back down on the uh, high E and B string. So. Then it goes to this lick that's a little bit out of key, kind of. So. so that's just back and forth between you got 17 on the uh, on the high E, and then your uh, pedal tone is the 14th fret of the B. So. Goes back and forth between 17 and 18 on the high E. And it ends with striking both of them and kind of vibratos both of them. Then you go up, you do another uh, seventh chord position. So let's start over with that. So it's. Sorry. So you got. What's that? The uh, 20th fret, 20. Then your third is at 19. Fifth is uh, 18. And 17. And you kind of hammer on. So from here, it pulls off, does like a. Jeez, I suck. There's a wah pedal on this next little bending. For some reason, I don't know if it's my carpet or something or if I'm sitting, but I can't fucking get this <laughs> thing to engage. So yeah, there it goes. So that's just uh, 12 and 10, then 13. Simple bluesy kind of something like Dimebag would do probably. You disengage the wall, and it's... God, I suck. So let me bust that down slow. So you're starting at the third fret here. It slides. It's like a third, third fret, seventh fret, hammer on, pull off. Then it slides from five to nine. Tritone, little diminished things. And then the next lick is uh, it pulls off to open from like, uh, what is this, 16, 13 open? So it just kind of goes down diminished three frets at a time. So then the last lick is. Uh, That one just kind of goes up position by position, doing the same pattern kind of. So it starts at 12, uh, 12, or I'm sorry, 10, 12, 13. Then it moves up a position, so you're 12, 13, and 15. And you're 13, 15, 17. It kind of hammers on 13, 15, 17. So that 20. 18, 17, or 19, or sorry, 22, 20, 19. Then it's, it's just kind of like. Let me do that again. Kind of, I'll play the whole thing just sort of slowish, so you get a, a feel for it, all in context. Alright, the last lead I'm going to show you guys is at the end of the song. It's not really a guitar solo or anything, but I still wanted to throw it in here because it is a new track. It's the uh, kind of black metal strumming thing in the song. Uh, so it goes, you know, it starts here on the 12th fret. It's just a minor chord, so 12, 14, 14, 13, 12. You just bar that. And then it does the same chord uh, here. 
and then here, it just ends on the sixth fret there. And the way I do it is I kind of strum along the pattern. I, it's, it's, just, it's constant strumming the whole time, but I'm kind of going between the low strings and the high strings on the chord. De uh, depending on where my foot's at on the wah, I kind of follow like, you know, so the pattern's supposed to be kind of like, wah, 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 w